uh, the red Chrysler van and speed off towards uh, the Holiday Inn near the University of Louisville. 11 a.m. At the hotel at the Holiday Inn, Jim is swimming with Claude. A Madonna song comes on, but he's not amused. amused. 11 a.m. Central. Karen pulls her car out in front of the Four Language Building. Good to see you, Jerry. Let's go, Karen said. You look great in that outfit. Jerry takes out a book from his uh, backpack. I want to show you this. My tutor is having me read it with this. The Duke of Nonconformance. Where's the setting? Communist Russia? No! My tutor is a conservative. Thank God for that. Are you still a Democrat? Undecided. You know I'm a fan of John F. Kennedy. Oh, a womanizer? That's perfect. Not because of that. His policies. You know I am not my father. I know. And that's why I'm asking you to go with me to Faith uh, Community Church in Midland. I asked Brad, will he stay in Lubbock, uh, getting this Anna kick? Sure, I've got the chance, Dara said. She hugged Jr. Thank you, Jr. You're the best. They go to Jim Smith's cat, uh, Chicken and Catfish for dinner. 12 p.m. Central. Back at the ranch. Uh, the Veterans Day Parade and pronouncements by President Clinton were on TV. 12 p.m., okay. Son of a gun! We're gonna miss the bold and the beautiful, uh, Elizabeth said. Veterans Day, Mother, Betsy said. Remember, gay fought in World War II? Granddad fought in World War One, and Jim fought in Vietnam. Yeah, but it's the president with his little pointy head. 1 p.m. Jr. sits in the library reading the Duke of Nonconformance. He reads how the uh, young nobleman asked for a new tutor who was for God and a free uh, press and was denied so. He debates over whether he should go to America for more freedom. Gary was very intrigued by what was going on. He also read how the young man was uh, energized by a young woman who told him to disregard the machinations of his tutor and, and, and buy for a free society. 3 p.m. Eastern. At the University of Louisville uh, College of Business, Jim is talking about economic opportunities for uh, both um, s small business and corporations. Some of the kids are really mesmerized by that speech. 2.45 p.m. Central. Jarrah starts studying for his government uh, got for governing, governing government, listening to his government textbook on cassette tape and takes copious notes. He knows that the next lesson 
would be about the foundations of Texas law. He was also studying for Monday's government exam. He knows tomorrow uh, that Jack Fitzmiller is going to be flying to Louisville, Kentucky uh, to meet with Hillary Clinton. So Frederick McKay would be uh, lecturing instead. He knows in uh, Spanish, George Hooper and Isidro Sanchez would be uh, assisting with basic uh, composition. 5 p.m. In Louisville, Kentucky, Jim and Claude dine of uh, chicken, French cut green beans, baked potatoes, and chocolate uh, macaroons. Okay. Uh, Jim emailed Betsy to let her know that he would be flying home tomorrow with JR. 6.30 p.m. Central. Karen picks up J.R. and takes him to the house of her boss, uh, Dr. Michelle Levon. They're listening to a Dave Barton tape on the way uh, to the Bible study. 7, 8, 7 p.m. Central. At the Bible study, Michelle uh, leads the group in studying the, the book Handled in Prayer by Dr. Charles Stanley. Present there was her husband Keith and appearing occasionally from the back office doing homework is her homeschooled eight-year-old son Jeremy. 9 p.m. Uh, in, in the car. Jerry and Karen, Karen get Jerry and Karen get caught in the car at 9 p.m. If you listen to Jim Bob Horton, I couldn't be out after dark, Karen said. I believe you're right. He's afraid that I'm going to turn into a frog, Jarrah said. At this point, Jarrah, it's not likely, Karen said. Hope you've enjoyed listening to the uh, J.R. Henry Texan Consort. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of this adventure. This is J.R. Hendricks saying until next time, relax and enjoy the adventure.